Hey, good morning. I hope your day is going well. Just wanted to encourage you again today. Um, just wanted to let you know that uh, you have to reduce your circle, kind of piggybacking off what we were talking about yesterday. Um, uh, it doesn't mean that you don't have to, uh, you know, love your neighbor and, and, and try to bless as many people as you can. You know, I don't want you to stop being yourself. You just have to guard your heart with all diligence because out of your heart, it's going to determine where you, whether you succeed or whether you are unsuccessful. It really, um, determines everything that your outcome in life I should say where you wind up in life is determined by what flows out of your heart and if you let too many people or the wrong people in that circle where you will be influenced or you will be destroyed by those bad and negative influences It'll be because you let them into that inner circle. So reduce your circle. Also, uh, you have to learn from your from your experiences or learn from other people's experiences as well. So you don't have to go down that same path and be uh, be taken advantage or destroyed because of those uh, continued mistakes that you make I know how it feels to be taken advantage of we've given over 250 pairs of brand new kicks but we still get judged because we like nice things as well um, but you know you can't allow that to stop who you are you know I, I know how it is for you to create and sustain a ministry and then have the rich people that own the church lie to their congregation and say that the money that they're collecting from the congregation is going toward your going toward uh, the homeless ministry or the uh, family ministry and in all truth is going in their pockets and uh, you can't let that stop you from doing what you need to do although other people may be hurt by it and may look at you with the side eye because they think you had something to do with it you can't make people do what's right even when they know it's wrong and uh, you just let them live that they have to answer for that you have to focus on what you can do to make the world better and I, I'm not bitter, I'm not mad, it's just facts. And I'm, I'm speaking on it only because it's something that you have to learn from. You know, there's things that happen in your life that you have to take as a lesson. And don't take it so much as a loss. And I'm praying for you today that 2019 will be that, that uh, year where your dreams are realized, where you can do your thing and that you can see your gifts and that you would uh, that you would build on those gifts and that at the end of this year that your dreams will come into fruition. I pray that the Lord goes before you and be your rear shield. I pray that he lifts you up and blesses you and protects you from all attacks of the enemy. And I pray for you and I ask you to pray for me. God bless you. Happy 219. Peace.